Ladies and gentlemen, the great electrifier. Everybody knows that wind turbines kill birds and bats by the thousands. Collateral damage, we're told. Unfortunate, perhaps, but a necessary trade-off, which we must balance against saving this old planet. Please don't buy into that frozen dogma. Do you know about the two million pound concrete base that anchor these massive wind turbines? Do you know about sinking all that concrete deep into the wild lands? Concrete requires mining. Concrete requires the burning of fossil fuel. Wind turbine batteries require the mining of rare earth metals. This particular mining generates toxic waste on a colossal scale, making the phrase clean energy a rather sick joke that is not funny to me at all. Apart from the fiberglass blades, most turbines are composed primarily of steel. In fact, they need about 200 times as much material per unit of capacity as a modern cycle gas turbine. Steel, as you know, is made with coal, not just to provide the heat for smelting ore, but to supply the carbon in the alloy. In short, the machinery of, quote, clean renewables, unquote, is almost exclusively the output of the fossil fuel economy, specifically the coal economy. It takes about half a ton of coal to make a ton of steel. Add another 25 tons of coal for making the cement, and you're talking about 150 tons of coal per wind turbine. If we're to build 350,000 wind turbines a year in order to keep up with the energy demand, this will require 50 million tons of coal a year which, to put that into perspective, is about half of the European current coal mining output. Now, please tell me again about the sustainability of the clean, free, renewable energy of the wind, which requires so much technology and so much fossil fuel to harness. I still hear him call my name. Yeah.